What's up guys, I'm River Fox. Welcome back to the channel. And today is the last and final day of the gliding challenge. I've, I've worked out actually over the course of the last seven days, including this one, it's taken about 16 hours of recording gameplay, editing, uploading, getting all these videos out for you. So I do hope that they are useful for you. But today's video then is Leap of Faith. Now, as I say, it is the last one of our gliding challenge and it is probably one of the most difficult that we've had. There's, there's so many different places you can get knocked off course it can be a bit of a nightmare so hopefully by the end of this video it give you a little bit more of an idea how to complete it in the quickest time and get the best rewards for it so first things first for this challenge you are going to be just to the northwest of Wolvendom and once you finish the course it is going to end up just on the outskirts of Mondstadt castle itself so your best bet is probably to go to the domain and climb up the mountain from the side of there and you'll be able to get to the challenge. Now, when you do activate this challenge, it will give you an updraft initially to start with. So you can jump into that, no problem. And it will take you to the first set of boost rings and particles. Now, you may miss one or two particles as you're going through don't worry too much about those. Now for the very first coin, you are gonna need to drop down in order to pick this coin up. And then once you have collected it, you're gonna need to boost yourself back up again to get to the particles and the boost rings. And once you boost up, it's gonna boost you a bit too high. So you might need to drop down slightly just to be able to get to the right height for those boost rings. And once you go through all of these, you've got some more boost particles to collect and you will get another automatic updraft then at the end. Now in the second section, you should get through the, the first part of it pretty easily without any boosting up or down but you will get then a second coin and for this one again you are going to need to drop down slightly for it and once you've collected the coin you'll need to boost back up but it will boost you too high again so you're going to need to drop a little bit just so you can try and get to these boost rings because the boost rings are what's going to get you through the course and give you the quickest time possible. So once you once you do all of this, then it's going to be quite a long stretch then of going through. You might have to do lots of dropping down slightly just to be able to get as many of those boost rings as possible. But when you do get to the end of this straight line, it's going to start curving off to the left and there will be a third coin then for you between these two boost rings. Now for this one, you wanna make sure that you're gonna be high up if you can by the time you get to the end of that straight and that will enable you to collect that third coin. And you're gonna get a few of these exploding bombs, you'll have the dirt balls, and also you wanna try and avoid these orange orbs as they are gonna slow you down. So try and avoid those wherever possible. It might be a little bit of weaving in and out of those. And once you get to the end, it will veer off to the right. And at this point, it's going to start going down again. But try not to lower yourself too much. Otherwise, you're going to miss those rings and you might not have enough boosts then to be able to get you back up again. So keep going through all of these, missing as many of those dirt balls and everything as you can along the way. Now, the fourth coin then, you're going to need to drop right down quite low for this one one and it can be a bit of trial and error working out just how much you need to drop down but once you've picked it up you'll need to boost back up again in order to get the next set of rings and keep going through all of these and then at the last point it's going to veer straight down so you're going to need to do a lot of dropping down dropping down in order to get those boost bars as much as possible um, I, I kind of just went straight over the top on most of it and when you get that last coin at the end as long as you've got enough boosts left then you should be able to use one final forward boost 
get you in line enough with the finish line and then you can just drop down to the end now I did try this quite a few times. My best score on this one at the moment is 1 minute 28 left and a score of 30,560. So it's not my best score, but it is done, it's dusted, it's all finished. Make sure you do collect all of your rewards at the end. And not only the gliding challenge rewards, make sure that you do go in to your notifications. You will also have some rewards to collect in there as well. So don't forget those. Be some good Mora for that. But yes, that is the gliding challenge done and finished. Thank God. I hope it did help you out. If it did, don't forget to hit that like, smash subscribe, turn on the notification bell. You can follow me on Twitter, Discord, and Twitch. I stream quite regularly. But if you need any help on anything else, then some of these videos up here should help you out. But until the next one, I hope you have a lovely day. Happy gliding, and stay safe, my friends.